Last spring, a student at one of America's most prestigious prep schools was arrested by police at Kennedy. Ah, yes. I have been patiently waiting for mornings like this where it's cloudy and cold. Finally, no more 100 degree weather. I've really, really missed this. Good morning, Static Fam. How's everybody doing today? Top of the morning. For those who don't know me, if you're new to the channel, my name is Robert Magania, and this is Static Living. First and foremost, before we get into this video, as you guys did see in the thumbnail, yes, we will be doing a review on my 2002 Dodge Viper. But before we get into this video, I just want to take a second and thank every single one of you who helped us get to a thousand subscribers. Honestly, I appreciate every single one of you. If it went to sh from shouting the page out to watching the videos, liking the videos, especially subscribing. From the bottom of my heart, I just want to say thank you to every single one of you. This is just the beginning for this channel. And I can promise you guys, you guys will not be disappointed with the future content that will be coming. I mean, we have various cars coming in from the Lexus from, to the Viper. We have a couple 240s if you're new to the channel, if you guys have not seen those yet. And then we have two cars that might be coming in the channel pretty soon that I will be mentioning a little bit later on. So you guys are going to have to stick around for that. But... Thank you to every single one of you for helping us get to 1,000 subscribers. You guys have no idea how happy I am. Literally, as soon as I seen 1,000 subscribers, I was literally jumping everywhere inside. I was like, yes, finally, 1,000 subscribers. So thank you to every single one of you who supported. This is just the beginning, and I promise you guys I will not let you guys down, so we will have good future content. Let's get right into this video, shall we? Let's do it. Oh, man. Let's get a cold start in. Gotta make sure it's in neutral real quick. It's been a while since I drove a stick. <laughs> Man, you know we had to get the day starter first with the rain. They didn't have my favorite one, which is the Peach Fizz, but yeah, this will do. So for those who know me, I do have a 2002 Viper, and here she is. So this is my 2002 Dodge Viper. It's currently all stock right now. The only modification that we have to the car right now is we have a boiler exhaust, which we will get to in a second. And we have some lowering springs. We're not really sure what brand they are because it came with the car like that. So this car originally has 29,000 miles, which is basically brand new. And this car doesn't really get driven much. And here's why. So for the past couple of years, this car would not be able to pass smog. We have no idea why, but we just couldn't get it to pass smog. Actually in 2017, I actually got this car accidentally impounded because we didn't have no tags because it wouldn't pass smog. So unfortunately, you know, back in 2017, I actually was driving here, quick story time. I was driving here at the light and I was coming this way, coming from the freeway over there. Two cops were making a left and they seen that the car had no tags. So what they decided to do was turn around, get me right here and they unfortunately impounded the car. So I will throw some pictures in. I didn't have a video, well, actually, I did have a video. I'll actually throw that in. I'll throw a couple clips and a couple pictures in, and you guys will see what I went through. So yes, yes, that all took place right here. We recently did register the car in Oregon and there is a lot of stuff that will be coming to this car. I just don't want to say anything yet. You guys will have to subscribe and stick around for that because like I said, we will have a lot of great future content coming for a lot of cars. So as I mentioned, you know, it's pretty much bone stock right now except lowering, spring, eh, lowering springs and um, boiler exhaust. We do actually have plans on you know pretty much changing up the look it's just the only you know tough situation that we have right now is we cannot find a six lug wheel it's pretty hard so we're trying to do some research and see if we can do a five lug conversion because five by 114 is one of the most common wheel bolt pattern so if we you know we were able to do a five by 114 swap you know that'd be a lot easier and just you know just so we can get any wheel because like i said at least out here from where i'm from in california you know northern california five by 114 is one of the most common wheel patterns so if we can get a five lug swap for this 
whew, we're golden. All right, guys, let's get into the heart of the car, shall we? So what you guys are looking at is the 8.0 liter V10. This is the second gen Viper. The first gen pretty much looks exactly like this. It's just, a, but no, this is the second gen. The only difference between the first and second gen is the first gen was the very first generation of Viper that came out and it did come with plastic windows. These are glass. So, you know, that's pretty much one of the only differences that I can think of off the top of my head between the first and the second gen. Other than that, they look pretty much identical. So as I did mention, this car is bone stock, you know, uh, performance wise, we do have big plans. That's why we did, you know, partially registered in Oregon, just so we don't have to deal with no smog. But this is an 8.0 V10, not bad. It's got about 450 horsepower with 500 torque. So if you really put it power to weight, you know, this car with this kind of weight, it will, you know, leave a lot of cars behind. But as to that, let's hear the exhaust. So I'm not really exactly to 100% sure what the exact setup on the exhaust is, but I do know that the mufflers, you know, in the back at least are Borla. Cat wise and you know, resonator wise and you know, all that kind of stuff up front, I'm not really too sure, but I just know the back is a Borla. Hit it. So it sounds pretty good. It's not too loud, it's not too quiet, not too raspy, not too noisy. It just sounds about right. <laughs> so if I'm not mistaken, I think the width of the wheels, at least in the back, they're like 13 wide. Are they 13? No, I think they're 15. No, I think they're 15. I don't know. They're pretty wide. But if, if you guys look from the bottom, they're pretty wide tires, but exhaust wise, it sounds pretty good. You know, it's not too loud. It's not too quiet. It sounds just perfect for like, you know, on a cruise. If you want to get on it, it'd sound pretty good. As you know, we showed you guys earlier. But let's look at the inside. So the inside is pretty tiny to be entirely honest. It is all, you know, it is an older car. So, you know, all the gauges are all analog, which is pretty cool just because you get more of that like old school kind of exotic vibe. And it is a six speed, so, you know. Show them how small it is. I am six feet tall, and you will see how it looks when I get in the driver, driver's seat. Driver's seat. All right, this is how I get in the car. I have to brace myself. Oh. Look at the distance from my head to the roof. It's like three inches. But other than that, I mean, it looks pretty cool inside. I mean, like I said, you get like that old kind of exotic, you know. Are you on the mileage? Yeah, I already showed 29, the 29,000 mile. miles. Can you believe that? You get like that old, you know, kind of race car feeling. It, it just feels cool, to be honest. Retro. Yeah, pretty much retro. Just look at this. I mean, this view, for being like an older, you know, like exotic car, this view is pretty amazing. Ah, oh, yeah. The V10, baby. The sound of a V10. Bro, I am trying to buff this car out, finish it up, and ah, look what Fabian calls me to. <laughs> look at this. What the heck is going on here? What is going on here? What'd you do? <laughs> oh, sh what'd you do? <laughs> what'd, you, what'd you do? Oh my gosh, dude. There's about to be a shortage somewhere. What did what'd you do? <laughs> Look at your all so dude. I was trying to wash <laughs> Look at this. He's all, I'm just I'm just, I'm just <laughs> I'm just trying to finish the car. Dude, I'm just trying to finish this car real quick. What did you do? <laughs> Look at you. In the morning. Look at you. Who made you all wet? <laughs> Why y'all wet, buddy? Who made y'all wet? In the morning I started washing my hands. Look at this! What did you do? I I don't know. <laughs> Look at this! <laughs> this is insane! This is insanity, dude! What, what happened here, dude? Oh my goodness! There's about to be a shortage somewhere. I guess a pipe broke or something. I'm just trying to finish this car, dude. What the heck? It's like, damn, I don't even want to go in there, man. I don't want to get wet. Man's came prepared. <laughs> oh, <it sucks. laughs> he came prepared, bro. Oh, man. What is going on? 
<laughs> Look who pulled up. The boy Hammond. Ooh. Oh, 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 oh. You're gonna hit the thing, fool. Ooh. The homie just slammed it. I think. Oh! Huh? Huh? It's done? It's done. What's up, Playboy? Ooh, look at the fit, man. I'm not gonna lie, you guys. This Z looks so freaking hard. You guys cannot tell me this is one of the hardest Z's out there. He's static, too, by the way. And he actually just got these headlights, too. I think he sold the other ones that he had, and he put these on recently. I think, like, about a week ago? Oh, my goodness. Look at this. That fitment is looking nice. <laughs> Sounds good, man. Sounds good. Those long gears, man, they sound crispy. It's just the only thing that does not, that really kind of sucks about this car, they do come with steel brakes. Watch, just listen, listen. Hold on. Well, anyways, these cars come with steel brakes, so like they squeak a lot. Just because, you know, they're like racing brakes. So it gets kind of annoying, but you just gotta bear with it and just deal with it. But anyways, there you guys have it. I hope that this introduction to the Viper it, you know just makes a lot of people happy just because you know these cars are getting more and more rare and i don't know about you guys but oh good <laughs> but at least to me you know so, someone's walking but at least to me these cars it's just like you appreciate them more and more just because you don't see them that much especially the first second and third generation of the vipers you really don't see them anymore so you know i'm just letting you guys know right now there is a lot of good content that will be coming soon for the Viper. I mean, just you guys are gonna have to subscribe, stick around, because I'm telling you, we have a lot of things in mind for this car. So I promise you guys, I will not let you guys down with content of the Viper. We have so many ideas brainstorming. Ah, I'm getting tired. But man, oh man, hopefully our first modification for the car could come this week. I'm planning on it. Hopefully we'll see what happens. But yeah anyways there you guys have it thank you guys for sticking around and watching and supporting i really appreciate you guys you guys know what to do if you guys want to stick around and watch more future content of the viper smash that subscribe button drop a thumbs up on this video oh man i don't know about you guys but this will never ever get old but anyways stick around you guys are gonna want to see what's coming up i will see you guys very soon hope everybody had a good day and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out, y'all.